All right, Fox News alert. Jury selection is set to start right now in the federal gun trial of Hunter Biden. And we just learned First Lady Jill Biden is at the courtroom. No word from the president of the United States, but the First Lady has walked in the courtroom. The first son has pled not guilty to three felony counts of illegally possession of firearm and could face up to 25 years in prison if convicted. Here with what to expect, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. So, Greg, uh, the same judge that threw out that sweetheart uh, uh, deal, Mary Ellen Norica, is also presiding over this case. What do you expect to happen? Well, this case, Lawrence, would normally be a slam dunk. It's Delaware, though. Remember that. Uh, the name Biden is sacrosanct. And, of course, Jill is there to remind them of that. So, you know, who knows? The best witness against Hunter Biden is Hunter Biden. I mean, he wrote a book explaining in detail how he was a drug addict at the exact time that he bought a gun and then allegedly lied about it. So he incriminated himself. And it was incredibly foolish to cash in by peddling a book about your addiction when you know you're under criminal investigation for an addiction-related crime. But there's other evidence, Lauren, Lawrence, a cocaine residue on the gun holder, three women who were romantically involved with him, their prosecution witnesses. Finally, and most importantly, there are photographs he took mm -hmm. of himself, time stamp doing drugs four days before he bought the gun. I mean, you got to be incredibly arrogant or stupid or both to do that. So, Greg, real quickly, so one of the things that they are disputing is filling out the form, okay? They're saying that the, the gun seller filled out one of the spots in the form, okay? Does that mean that Hunter Biden, if you're going to have that defense, would he have to take the stand to be questioned about that? Or is that something they're just going to be able to throw out there? No, I mean, part of the defense here is that the form was somewhat and innocuously altered after the fact by adding additional driver's license information. It's largely irrelevant, and no, it doesn't force him to do anything but sit there in the courtroom. You know, his main defense, Lawrence, is I couldn't have knowingly lied because I was in denial about my addiction, so I wasn't really an addict. And plus, I was in rehab, so I didn't think I was an addict anymore. His backup defense is, gee, I was so strung out, I didn't have the intent to lie or break the law. That normally doesn't work because being addled is never a defense. Uh, he's also tried challenging the Second Amendment. Oh, the Second Amendment protects me and other drug addicts. That's not the prevailing federal law. And, of course, his dad is on record railing against the Second Amendment and arguing strict gun laws should always be enforced except for, you know, maybe against my own son. Yeah, you so, know what I say to yeah, that? Yeah, it's a crazy defense. That, you know what I say to the, the, to the addiction thing? Say that to the people that his dad got locked up with the 90s crime bill. It's like, it's, right. it's coming around full circle, and we're gonna see if Joe Biden is so passionate, or only is he passionate when it comes to his son and not the other people that he got locked up. We're gonna be following the case, though, uh, Greg. As we said, the first lady, Jill Biden, is in the courtroom. No word if, if the president of the United States is gonna be there. Uh, Greg, thanks so much for joining the program. Thank you, Lawrence. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.